Hi children, uh, in this video we are going to practice some programs from chapter conditional statements in Java. So you can see some programs which are based on menu driven or user's choice or switch case. Everything is same. Okay, user's choice means if there are more than one cases, he can execute only one case. If he want to find the area of rectangle, he can execute only this case at a time. If he want to find the diagonal of a rectangle, he can execute only this case at a time. So that is called menu driven or user's choice or in the question itself, they will directly give using switch case, write the program and all. Okay, so these three concepts are same. So you should be able to know the formulas of area, perimeter and diagonal of a rectangle. So write a program to accept length and breadth to find all these operations, right? So we are, first we are entering uh, the length and breadth of a rectangle and storing it in which variable? Length is stored in L variable and breadth is storing in B variable. Okay, so instead of this input stream reader, you can use what? Scanner class statement because the uh, input stream reader is reduced to topic in your syllabus now. So use scanner class. So if you are using scanner class, instead of IO, you can use util. Util package you can import. So what is the class name here? DK switch is the class name here. And inside the main function statement, you want to declare these statements that will that you will be able to know after writing the logic part of the program. So I stored a length and breadth into this variable and if you are using scanner class instead of this line you can use l equal to in dot next int okay and b is equal to in dot next int and next you have to display for the user it should be readable no enter one for area two for perimeter three for diagonal enter your choice by seeing this user will if you want to calculate the area, he will press the button, press the key on the keyboard 1. If you want to find perimeter means he will press the key 2. So enter your choice. These, it should be there in the display. Then only user can know which button uh, he could be able to uh, press. Okay. So that choice, that choice means User can press any of the cases, right? So that choice is storing it in n variable. So we have to switch the cases. That means inside the bracket, you have to give that variable so that each time user can enter any cases. So here, case 1, uh, you are entering the formula to find the area equal to L into B and normally uh, system dot out dot print ln you are entering the stored result and finally you have to give a break statement then only this case will stop then next case is opening case 2 to find the perimeter and case 3 is used to find the diagonal how you are going to find the diagonal of a rectangle square root of l square plus b square so in keyboard we can't give the square root so we are using the mathematical function sqrt of l square means l into l plus b into b so finally it is also displaying and if you want if more than if in this program only three cases are there so mistakenly if the user press any other button than these cases you can give default cases for example he is pressing four so there is no such cases in this program so it will display wrong choice so after writing this program you will be able to write all these parameters sorry variables and one more thing you should remember if these cases are integer you can give it like this but cases are in character form if you want to give cases a b and c means you have to give like case a here case b like case c so if it is a character you can enclose it in a single quotes 
otherwise you can write like this and there is no order uh, to it should not uh, there is no not necessary to give this in a order if you want to start from 3 4 5 you can give it like that but in this printing statement also you should give like that enter 3 4 area 4 4 perimeter and 5 4 diagonal so whatever you are giving in this case you should give it in this printing statement also then only user will be able to understand which key he have to press